Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's too much light. Let's move this down. No, that looks cool. It's uh, making me look super wild. Put it on your side. On your side. Like a good neighbor, stay focused. Um. Ah. Uh, what was that thing I seen on Facebook? Where it was like a meme. Or, or you know when they clip like something out of the comment? A meme? Yeah, like someone something? posted something and they'll clip like something from the comments and then make it into one thing. No. Uh, anyways, it, it's like a post saying like uh, something like if your life insurance knew that you liked being like uh, choked during sex, like uh, something about like not being covered. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, I don't know if it's, it was real, but I don't know if it was like statewide or state farm or something. <laughs> they like commented and it's like, uh, we cover strangula <laughs> strangulation. <laughs> strangulation. No, i never seen that. No. That's the end of that. That's the, that is the end, of, the end that. of that. That's the end of that conversation. Was, uh, yeah. <laughs> is that, was that one of your things? That's very, uh, <laughs> is that one of your topics? Like anti -clim <laughs> climatic. What is it? Climatic? Yeah. Climatic. Oh, that, that reminds me, uh, I saw, uh, I can't say it. On YouTube, I saw uh, Michael Jordan's speech to Kobe Bryant. Like, they put a little podium in, in the NBA stadium or whatever. In the NBA stadium, in the basketball court. And uh, Michael oh. Jordan was giving a speech because, mm -hmm. you know, he, Kobe. Yeah. I don't know if you heard. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everybody heard. Uh, he died. And uh, Jordan was, like, giving the speech with tears just streaming down his face. And, uh -huh. like, the whole crowd was, like, just like they would clap a little bit, but it was quiet. It was dead silent. They were like hanging on uh, Jordan's every word and stuff. And was, then, it, was it even like an epic speech or a good? Yeah, speech? I mean, you can tell Jordan's not the greatest like public speaker. Oh, uh, but it was kind of funny. But um, he's like he didn't shooting, even shooting hoops while he's talking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's kind of weird because he doesn't even have a tissue or anything. He doesn't even bother wiping the tears from his eyes. Uh, they're just like screaming, yeah. You just hear him like, you hear him like, and he's talking about Kobe. It's really cool. And then he's like, "Damn it!" He's like, "Man, I promised my wife I wasn't gonna do this." Like crying. Uh, and he's like, "Now I'm gonna have to sit here for another ten years and watch us uh, to see another Michael Jordan meme." Uh, like, cause remember the Michael Jordan meme, and then the crowd just like erupts, like with like cheering and like laughing, and I'm like, really for that? Like, he's like, I have to look forward to that, like seeing that meme again, <clears throat> cause I totally forgot yeah, about it. I just so thought it was kind of funny. That'd actually be pretty funny. And that's the end of that. That's the end of that. You have anything to add? <laughs> no. YouTube's uh, cool. <laughs> oh, dude, we should talk yeah. about that. You should video. end it on that. YouTube is cool. <laughs> YouTube is cool, dude, dude. We should talk about that video we watched yesterday about a certain kid ruining his awesome shirt. Oh, <laughs> Just tell the viewers. I can't believe that's an old video and I'm barely seeing it. It's like hello. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> well, YouTube does it. What do you say? Something about like, ah, oh, you dingling. <laughs> you dingling. You ruined your awesome shirt. <laughs> So there's this video of this kid. He's like, he does it say like beautiful shirt later. <laughs> I think He's so. like, You're beautiful. You're beautiful shirt. shirt. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah. We put it on. We I can. Know. Oh yeah, we could play it. You yeah. Play it? Even though no one's like watching. You oh, have to put it. Oh, that's a, is that us watching? Uh, I don't know. I yeah, I don't it. know. Uh, How do you do it though? Oh, go to the go to Chrome. That video is funny. And then uh, it might be us. Yeah, close. Close, or go to YouTube because we don't need that. That might have been us. Hey, it doesn't matter, man. It's the podcast. Uh, <clears throat> shit. You type. You Did type. You? I click. <laughs> uh, <let's see>, um... <laughs> Tom Brady kissing. <laughs> hey, uh, that's not a. Oh, what? That's uh, yeah, in, that's in your search. Oh, I wish everyone could see this. Tom, Tom Brady kissing son. <laughs> Why'd you search that? Because I showed my friend. And I asked him. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He brought it up. Damn, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I brought you up. What? Do you remember? No. Nah. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't bring it up. But uh, <laughs> I saw you. Well, we, we started talking about this, and I was like, oh, yeah, like Tom Brady when he kisses his son. And I was like, do you kiss your son on the lips? And he's like, no, like, that's kind of weird. And I was like, what about, what do you think of Tom Brady? And then I showed him the video. Mm-hmm. And then I told him that one day when you came to school, your dad dropped you off. And mm-hmm. then I was like kind of waiting for you. And then you gave him a kiss. Uh, and I think you gave him a kiss on the lips. I didn't I was, kiss him on the lips. Oh, you did No, I never kissed Are you sure? my parents. Or, yeah. You never, you know, you didn't kiss yeah, we, we kissed each other on the cheek. Oh, okay. I don't know why I remember you kissing. You're probably like how traumatized. Like, you know, like <laughs> my friend, like he kissed his dad. <laughs> and then I think I remember like giving you shit for it. I think. Do you remember that? Probably. And I was like, "What? You kissed your dad?" <laughs> like, "What? I can't believe that." And you were like, "Yeah, like I love my dad." And like, so what? And then, uh, like, or like, you know, yeah, I love him. I mean, it makes sense if you're like thinking like, <laughs> kiss "Yeah." Him on Have you seen that video of Tom Brady uh, kissing his son? Uh, oh. You want to watch it's it? like a recent. That sounds so Your face. That sounded so disturbing. Like, are you are you down for it? Or? Uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't seen this? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's yeah. like a gym. I haven't seen this fire-ass video. <laughs> it's all over the internet. Yeah, do you want to watch it? or? Uh... <laughs> well, it's kind of weird because, like, Tom Brady's just getting a massage. And he's, like, people are filming him. Yeah, he's, like, naked, by the way. <laughs> And so he's getting him, uh-huh. he's getting a massage, and then his kid is like, "Hey, Dad, can I check my fantasy football or whatever?" Uh-huh. And he's like, "Yeah, but what do I get in return?" Yeah, he says like, <laughs> "Tom Brady's like, what do I get in return?" And like, uh, this is too, this is disturbing. And then the <laughs> kid like disturbing. the little kid comes and fucking kisses him for a good while, and then a good while. Yeah, what like mean? It it's, I mean, a peck like a it wasn't lip? a peck. No, it was like. And then the kid like wipes his mouth, and then like it's weird. Oh, that is weird. We can watch it. Nah, on repeat. Let's, let, oh, <laughs> let, let's stick to that video where we're gonna pull up. Oh, okay. Fall. Oh, cool. What the heck? Yeah, oh, Riku is now following. Hey, oh, thanks yeah. for the follow, man. Wow. So it's, this video is called "Glow Stick Blows Up in Kid's Face," and it's this little kid. He, he freaking. Microwaves a glow stick and it blows up in his eyes, and his dad just cares about his shirt getting destroyed. Um, but if you want to see the video for yourself, yeah, I use the Streamlabs OBS. If you want to see the video for yourself, you can just type in "glow stick blows up in kid's face," <laughs> and it's fucking funny. Uh, that's where it starts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Sounds so weird. <laughs> Come here. I have no clue what to do with this. They're not helping to my eyes. I gotta see what to do, dingling. <laughs> D- dingling. God, so, I told you not to mess with a choking hazard. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to do if it's in your eyes. God, don't rub them. So it blew up in his face. Where's the stuff on this, Jack? <laughs> Jack. Don't microwave a Jack. Do you have another one of these tubes? No. Not to mention, it's all over your awesome I know. shirt. I know. Hey, I think I already no. said it. You got it all over your awesome Don't shirt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny? What? Like later, um, when he's Where's flushing out his eyes, Jack? when he. <laughs> like he's hella mad. He's like, don't, don't put water. Here. I forget what he told them. He, yeah. And like, dude, right after he says that, he's like reading the label and it says like, wash, <laughs> wash out your eyes, wash out your eyes for fifteen minutes. Don't rub your eyes. Yeah, no shit. I said, don't migrate. Don't screw around. What you do with a beautiful shirt on? Oh, he already said, like, you got it all over your awesome shirt, didn't he? <laughs> you, you do it with your beautiful shirt. <laughs> yeah, and then the... I guess he probably called 911 or something, yeah, so then they called him back. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, bumping into stuff. <laughs> yeah.
But yeah, damn. <laughs> I think yeah, I think that's an, I think that's good. There's not much going on else. <clears throat> but hell on. Yeah. But yeah, that video is dumb. Oh man. No, we need our light. Oh yeah, light source. Our <laughs> fucking artificial uh, fucking light bulb. Oh, where's my little note? You know, you know what your stupid uh, topic? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you got any goals for this year though? No. I never asked that. <laughs> Come on, no. Um, like li lifting, you don't have like a lifting goal. Like, I want to hit this by the end of the year. Yeah, I want to be able to bench. 300 pounds. No, nah, it's insane. <laughs> Fuck. Tyron was just telling me he did 330. I want to know what three. I, I'd like to know. What? First, like, what's the record? Of, like, someone, are, like, what's the heaviest someone has lifted and that's, like, um, who's, like, of a similar weight to us? Like what's the max to achieve? Like yeah, we'd have to find out. Lift. How much? How much do you weigh? One sixty. One sixty. Yeah. So like. First, we gotta find out weight classes. You know what though? If we were to eat properly and work out a lot more, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be weighing. We would be weighing way less. I'm pretty sure. Oh, in power Not for power less, lifting? But I think we'd be heavier if we ate more better I think what happened uh, I don't know that's hard it's hard to say mm -hmm. cause I weighed dude I weighed 130 at one point as but an adult we're talking at top level already they reached top level yeah. I would say they're heavier than 160 oh, yeah. I would so say they're like kind of heavy yeah because we have we barely say, started, but so then it's kind of hard to say where we would land. Yeah. Right. Yeah. People our size. Um, let's see how. I'm closer to one fifty now. I want. It. It's weird. I don't know like a good weight for me because I wanted to reach like one forty five, one forty. Mm hmm. But. I also want to put on some muscle, so I probably wouldn't weigh that much. It probably it, um it probably doesn't go by height, huh? I mean, nah, it goes by I'll, weight, huh? Yeah. This guy Ed Cone, he's uh um he's supposed to be the greatest power lifter of all time, and he's only five six. Five six, uh, yeah. Height height doesn't really matter. Um, I wonder how, how that weight. heavy he is. Five but, six. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm there you give you uh, some confidence to your eye. <laughs> yeah, look at that U.S. Senior National Championships. You got like first in all of them um, records. Yeah. Throw that credit. Uh, said over seventy-one world records in powerlifting. He became the lightest person to cross. He became the lightest person to cross the two thousand four hundred pound barrier in the powerlifting total. The sum of three lifts, the deadlift, bench, and squat. He set an all-time powerlifting record total of 2,463 pounds, even though at the time he was not in the heaviest weight class. Um, You're just trying to bodybuild, though, right? Yeah. Fuck, that's crazy. Conan's best. I don't know what single-ply lifts are. Uh, his squat was 1,000 pounds. That's crazy, and he's small. I said. But like I said, weight has to do more Fuck. than height. Height. Um, we have to figure out how much he weighed. His bench press was five eighty four, and his deadlift was nine oh one. His bench press was what? Uh, five eighty four. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's me. Not <laughs> that's, uh. Yeah. Uh, That's crazy, man. Let me see. Mother, mother, mother. 
Um, uh, wait. Yeah, are, do you have a schedule that you're trying to stick to in terms of lifting? No, I'm all over the place. I just kind of <laughs> lift when I'm not tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Um, no, it's just hard. It's hard to be consistent, you know? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, how much? What were you saying your goal was though? Damn, he was two twenty. He was. We weighed two twenty. Oh uh, yeah. You don't think we would weigh that? Two twenty? Us? Yeah. Nah, hell no. Well, maybe, but fuck, we'd have to pack on a fuck ton of muscle. It's too much muscle for our little frames, huh? Yeah. He might have like a thick ass bone structure. Mm hmm. Like uh, I don't have a thick ass bone structure. Uh, Ty has a, pi a picture of him on his fridge. He took a picture with him. Oh, really? He met him and he looks like he uh, looks like a little dude. I was yeah. like, "What? That guy's like the greatest power lifter of all time." He's like, "Yeah, well, he's you know he's old." Um, but uh, oh yeah, but what's your so what's your lifting goal? For the end of the year. Um, honestly, I haven't even really thought about it. I just wanted to break two hundred on my all my lifts. But that was that's pretty easy, huh? Yeah, uh, you already broke it for your deadlift. For deadlift, I can't, I, don't, I think I'm gonna quit squat. I don't think I'm gonna do squats. No, no. You have too much knee pain. Yeah, uh, or I'm just doing them too wrong. So too wrong. I'm just gonna go to the gym and hit the leg press. I don't know. Oh, I'll see. I'll, I just gotta practice more. But uh, on my bench, uh, I do want to break 200, or at least to get 200, because. Should be easy. I only weigh one sixty, so by the end of the year, yeah, I could I should be able to do that before the end of the year, yeah, because I have a lot of time. But um, it just depends. Like you need to try to stick to like a schedule or a plan. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah, I could be more serious about it, but I don't like I don't watch what I eat or anything. I just lift yeah. and take pre workout. Like, but, um, I know diet is like a huge part, but uh, as long as you're not eating like snacking on junk food, mm -hmm. I feel like for our body types, like you're, you're probably decent. not gonna be cut. Yeah, like you're not gonna have a. It's gonna be a little fat, bulky. It's it's like you're gonna be like dirty bulking. I'm, but, I'm all dirty bulk. I'm dirty bulk. Um, but. I my, my my um my how do you say my uh viewpoint my image of myself I think it's too low like I think I'm incredibly weak so I think that hinders me like I didn't even think I'd be able to deadlift two hundred five but it was easy <laughs> uh, and that should be easy right your legs are pretty strong your legs should be able to do that easy yeah um uh. You know what? Maybe we could have hit the. No, oh, you know what? No. <laughs> what two twenty five? Yeah, I'm with? thinking maybe we'd be able to hit it if we never hit the. The two hundred five. I wouldn't have. Yeah, I already know. It's just too much. Uh, I was able to lift it off the. <laughs> yeah. Got but it off the ground, but I just couldn't. Did you then, feel it? Like, come up. Like you felt like your muscles were exhausted, or you just couldn't do it. I felt like I didn't have like the stability in my back and everything to keep on going. Like I knew, mm. like if I were to force this out, like I'm a fuck, I'm a fuck myself up. Yeah, that wasn't the case for me. For me, I already knew that once I like tried it. Um, even if I didn't do the two hundred five, I still wouldn't have been able to get it off the ground. You don't think? So? Mm -mm -mm. I think like large movements like that, especially when it's like a heavy. Like, yeah. Pretty sure we drained a bunch of energy just off that one lift of 205 you think i didn't feel like it drained me at all no you probably not like your cardio you probably didn't feel it but i'm pretty mm -hmm. sure your muscles were like fatigued because you just like when you do a one rep max usually like say we did bench you're you're not like done your muscles aren't just like you don't feel like oh man it's like I'm my done. arms are blown out i guess that's true so that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking maybe if we didn't do 205 we maybe. might have been able to do that. Yeah, maybe you could have did it. I could have did it. It felt pretty good when I did 205. That's a big jump from 205 to 225. Yeah, but it wasn't like 205 was like, oh my 
god. Like, like you grind. It wasn't like a grind, like where you had to grind it out or anything. Yeah, like no, it was like hard, but it wasn't like. It wasn't I was the using hardest. All my like. Yeah. Will to get this thing up. Mm-hmm. I wasn't. It wasn't even really that hard at all, really. <laughs> I feel like I just my I just wanted to pass out though <laughs> when I went to. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, <you> fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> um. Man, that, that was cool, man. I should be happier. Set me up with a rolling chair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is going to make good content. I'm going to rig the chair. Yeah. Um, but uh, man, I don't think I really have a lifting goal. Yeah, do you have any lifting goals? You don't. It sucks because mm. you don't have access to all the stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to have a goal. And then if I start, if I start uh, going to do MMA, I don't think I'm going to be like lifting and doing that type of stuff as much it sucks there's only so much you can do in a with day. your time yeah. and in a day it's stupid but as long as you take up your time and yeah. you do something that's how i feel i, I just want to utilize like all the time in my day <laughs> if you plan your day out yeah you could do all that yeah. stuff because man i hate there's just days where like i don't know i feel like i didn't do anything <laughs> yeah i know which I mean, so, sometimes you know, relaxing and chilling is good, mm-hmm. but sometimes I don't know, it just feels like too much. Exactly, like you're overindulging, and for yeah. what? You're not getting anything yeah, out yeah. of it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's like my problem is overindulging. I'm like a glutton <laughs> for everything, but now working out has given me like the drive to like do do shit. Like I feel good. Oh yeah, you get more energy. Mm-hmm. It's that's cool. Like, even work is easier too. It's hard. It's really a, a kind of like a snowball effect. Or as long as it, as long as you get the ball rolling mm-hmm. and you put a little bit of effort, like the ball will keep on rolling. Maybe you don't like start doing more, but as long as you do a little bit, like it's easy to just keep it going. Yeah. So and a lot of people just have that problem. Oh, they don't, like. I mean, I was the same way. Like, it was hard to start working out. Yeah. But, like, once you start doing, like, a little bit, like, I always tell people, like, you don't have to, like, jump right away, like, into, like, some sort of, like, plan and doing all this stuff. Like, yeah. You can literally start, like, all right, every day when you're bored or whatever, instead of, like, watching a video or doing something, like, I'm, I'm just going to go take a walk around the block for 15 minutes. Yeah. And literally, like, that just doing that and then slowly like building up to something else like mm-hmm. it'll it'll catch on yeah it will and you'll start to see some differences like maybe if you just take a little walk we can put on a podcast or put on like something mm-hmm. well, you could be on your phone literally take your dog for a walk and maybe cut out like so you're trying to lose weight or something and just cut out like soda and walk for 15 minutes a day like it'll you'll see a huge difference yeah. unless you have some sort of like gland problem or something gland, yeah but that's like a whole different thing. But I wonder if it's easier for people like us to work out and stick to it because we see results faster rather than other people who are like built a little bigger and have a little more meat. They don't really I, see no, the I results. See that, but I even tell people like don't. You can't like. I feel like either way people expect results super, super fast. Yeah. You know? Like one week, con. They're like, yeah. what, what happened? Why I feel I like they should at least start feeling better mm-hmm. pretty, pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, I feel like the first two weeks, especially when it comes to diet, like if you cut something out, like those first two weeks are part of the, the hardest. Like if you <clears> cut out like soda or say like, oh, I'm not going to eat chips. Yeah. And you're like used to having soda or like eating chips. Mm-hmm. The, I think the first two weeks are the hardest but after you get like, past the like a two-week mark if you don't do it yeah it, your body it kind of adjusts i haven't at that point. i haven't even like uh messed with diet i'm not even talking about diet i'm talking about the fatigue you get from your body like yeah. i feel like you're gonna feel like shit when you first start working out you're gonna feel like shit for a couple months because the soreness is gonna be real oh uh, if dieting yeah. is a whole different mental thing if you don't if yeah for someone who doesn't <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but you, you, you kind of have to build that mentality, like that the soreness feels good. Yeah, it does. But at first, like, yeah, you don't want it. You don't like it. Pretty much, if you're not used to 
being out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Anything that's out of your comfort zone just feels like shit. Yeah. Like, you feel terrible. So, yeah, soreness, you're just like, oh, it just doesn't feel normal. Same thing with, like, someone who always has to have, like, say, like, the temperature to their house, like, perfect, like, oh, whatever, adjusting it. Yeah. Then, of course, you go outside and it's, like, five degrees less and you're like, oh, it's cold. It's like, no, it's not cold. You're like, you're just not used to being out of your perfect little comfort zone. Yeah. That's what... Uh, this is what Tyrone was telling me because I wanted to put the my weight in the rack and everything. Mm-hmm. I wanted to put it in the garage because uh, I didn't want yeah. it to be outside. But then, like, I don't know. I forgot why, but he was just like, oh, I was like, damn, but the garage isn't insulated, so it's going to be, like, cold. And it's just like, yeah, like, you're going to – there's days where it's going to be cold. There's days where it's going to be cold. I mean, hot. So, like, you're going to be a little – like, a little discomfort's okay. Like, you just got to get used to it. <sighs> And then you get used to it like almost immediately. And it builds up. I mean, it builds up because you're working out physically. You're mm-hmm. building up like that physical strength. Yeah. But, like those aspects build up like your mental strength. It does. Yeah. Yeah. You ever take like uh, cold showers? I don't. No? I can't do I it. Forced, yeah, I, no, I forced <laughs> myself. Uh, so now I can like kind of – this is what I do, and this is kind of why I read, and it's usually recommended for, I guess, people trying to get into, like, taking a cold shower. Mm-hmm. I just do it because it's, like, I feel like it's just what I'm comfortable with, and I feel you kind of get the best of both. But yeah. it's just, like, you take your usual hot shower or whatever, and you can take your whole hot shower or whatever, like, wash and everything. Mm-hmm. Do all that with hot water. Once you're done... And you're cold. completely rest off. Slowly, you yeah, you start going colder, yeah. colder, 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 to to the point where yeah, now it's just like cold water. Mm-hmm. And when you get to that point, like just try to spend like a minute in it. Mm-hmm. And you it's supposed to s- still give you like the benefits of taking a cold shower. Um, and then your body gets time to acclimate to yeah. it, and yeah, then you can just get just going straight. Yeah, you could get colder and colder. That's that. Damn, I gotta take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go offline. So that's tight. Bam. That's cool. What? Oh, I think there's a be back. Is there there's a be right back? You see it? Uh, no. Uh. Uh, I, I don't want to get I don't want to get tired, but uh, is there any my haze left? I'll take a my haze. Fuck it.
Sudah tadi kan Oh ya Think so How long? How long should we go for? It's I been thirty-six minutes. As long, I mean, as long as we're having fun. This is cool because it's just conversation. Mm. Uh, I mean, obviously we're trying to kind of have a topic, but yeah, I I kind of just try to jump around, I guess, topic to keep conversation going, but I'm not trying to. Strictly stay on to a yeah um, topic. Anyway, we're yeah. talking about what lifting goals for the year. Oh yeah, said so you're gonna run a 10k or something. Yeah, a 10k is it? <clears throat> uh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna run a half marathon. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I should probably run tomorrow. Or should, yeah, I I actually I am I am going to run tomorrow. Mm -hmm. See how far. But if you get drunk, not <laughs> dead. Uh, some of the past, because I mean, I've been doing, I've been staying busy every weekend, but like usually the days after, like I drink, mm -hmm. either if it's like here at your place or something, like I still run the next day. No, oh, it's cool. I'm it's like, buff. it's uh, rougher. Uh, really, huh? yeah, really. And uh, I just I try to just take my time with it. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I I used to love running, but now my knees are fucked. I think being flat-footed. I need some good running shoes or something. Yeah, um, I just I oh, wore out my you knees. Just got a flea feet. <laughs> Fleet me? Is that real? You just made yeah, that right. up. No, that's what you told me last time too. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, they uh, they'll look at your feet. They'll look at the way I think you like you walk or something. I haven't uh, gone yet, but my friend was telling me, look, they look, they look at the way you walk and your feet and stuff, mm -hmm. and they'll tell you like what type of foot <laughs> and what type of shoe like you kind of need. Mm -hmm. Um, I also I found out that uh. One leg is longer than the other. That's probably the everyone problem. has one leg. Really? Uh, what? Everyone has. Yeah, yeah. Your like, body's all like kind of. Everyone's weird. body is misproportioned. I didn't say my body was misproportioned. Your body's misproportioned. It said one side's yeah. longer. Misproportions. Yeah. Mis size. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. I noticed uh, one of your pecs hangs lower than the other. It's actually, yeah. You're, you're actually being real, huh, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. But I they're... believe it because uh, my pecs don't look like e they're not perfectly the same. even. Yeah. Right, yeah, I think the right yeah, ones. No, one, no one's perfect. No one's perfect, yeah. yeah. But my, like, my legs, like, one like, like it's like right one now, foot. It's like literally like how the mis. Yeah, yeah, my other foot's like six foot long, and the other <laughs> like one's one foot. Your other leg doesn't even touch the ground. <laughs> yeah, it's just like trying <laughs> to walk. Like dangled, yeah. That's that's me. <laughs> but uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh, dude, I remember in middle school. Um, I like oh, crushed. So good. Yeah, this this beer's better. Your little shark. Club. Yeah, little shark NATO. Um, I remember like I ruined this guy's life because uh. <laughs> I was looking at his ears for some reason. Uh, well, I was looking at his ears, and like one was different. Like you know the inside parts, like the little grooves, yeah. like the curves in yeah. your inside. One was different than the other, and like I showed him somehow. Oh, he had Man, a mirror. You must have been really paying attention to his ears. I don't know you why. Noticed that one, the inside was different than the other one. Yeah, he, you know why? Because he told me to look at his ears for for, for, for some reason. I don't know uh, why. Yeah. And so I was like, hey, what the hell? Like, your ears are different and they're different size, too. And then, like, he, we went to, like, the bathroom or something and looked at it. And he uh, was like, oh, what the heck? Like, that's weird. I didn't even know that. And he was like, oh, man. And then he was just, like, bummed out that he looked, like, kind of different. Like, his ears were different. Even his lobes you, like, were different uh, size. Yeah, showed him something new about himself. Yeah, and then he was like, man, like, this Have you ever sucks. had moments like that where, like, you've seen something on your body, and now you're like, what the fuck? Like, I've always had this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ever had a moment like that? Yeah, like, my dick. I, I didn't know I had a dick. 
<laughs> no, I've never ended up. Where did this come from? Yeah, what the fuck is that? I'm a dick. Um, I think I had a moment like that. I can't remember what it was. Uh, mm. Oh, my fucking bald head. My bald spot on my head. Bald spot. I was streaming. Oh, I was streaming oh, and it's all the top of my head. Oh, like you're like, it's like. Hello. You can see like your scalp. Yeah, I was like George Costanza. That. Yeah, I'm bald. No, but I'm bald. What they say, like sixty no, percent of men. I think sixty percent of men uh, go bald. Sixty percent. Yeah. I know. I know. I'm kind of. By the time they're thirty. Fucking. I already have the odds against me because apparently, like men who grow like a lot of hair or like facial hair, mm-hmm. that they, they they're more likely to go bald. Really? Yeah. I, I well, I can't remember if it was a video or an article I had seen where they were talking about that because I guess your body Easy. it's like a a type of testosterone because I guess there's different categories of testosterone. Yeah. So whatever, whatever sub hormone or whatever it is that allows you to grow like that extra hair. Yeah. You only produce it like so much like in your life and somehow i guess this takes priority over like over the, like head, the, hair, the yeah, hair, hair, hair on your head or something i, I don't know that's what i read or hmm. heard i don't know if it's true or not but at least if you go bald which you is, do have a beard yeah which is now when i read that and i thought about it you usually see like bald dudes with beards yeah it's true that so is true like, oh, shit. <laughs> like is there truth to this I mean, at least you have a bitchin' bitchin' beard. Bitchin' beard. Yeah, like, that's tight. Just grow it out long and then, like, somehow just curl it back up to the mm-hmm. top of your head. Oh, so I started shaving my, like, peach fuzz, and uh-huh. now I'm growing hairs on the side of my oh, really? actual hairs. Yeah, like one, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should continue down this You're, like, road. like, counting them? Like, they're just getting more and more. Yeah, I got two. I got three on this side and then, like, one on this side. Random. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. So I guess shaving really does uh, help i don't think it does no you think that's just the myth i think because i feel like it's working oh and since i, I started it... shaving my mustache it's fuller now in the middle i used <coughs> to just get like these little whiskers right because here. when you shave you leave the base of the hair mm-hmm. there so when it grows out it's a thicker hair oh so then it so turn, it'll fills look, it more it'll in. look fuller but i mean if you do have like baby, I guess hairs that Fuzz? never yeah Peach cut fuzz? or whatever. You just let them grow and then you shave it. Mm-hmm. It probably will kind of fill in. Hmm. Like, we just got people like jumping in and then jumping out. Yeah. Maybe we should have interacted with. Oh, them. you know what? We don't have the light though. It looks hella dark. Oh, oh that's there a lot better. Yeah. yeah. Um, super dark on your side. Yeah. Oh man. You don't have any goals though. Any goals for the year that you want to be like? Um, just the working out thing. I want to look better and probably start eating better too eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. When I was cut looking- back on drinking more. Uh-huh. Still want to drink though. Yeah, I just cut back. <laughs> Which I have. Um, what about you? I can't really think right now. I just, for sure, I want to do that half marathon, which I'm kind of committed to already. Mm-hmm. Get that done. Kind of just want to travel, like hit some new spots that I've never been to. Mm-hmm. Like I've never been to, like a. Uh, Oh, like the northern California spots mm-hmm. in terms of like going out there to hike. Um, there's a national park, Red, Redwoods. All Redwoods right, national cool. Park. Do we really? Uh, I feel like this is not actually showing us all the views. Like it might be lagged or it froze or something. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Nebula. I think that's how you say your name. Let's Nebula. See. Hey, uh, I got a question for you. Um, Thanks for the follow, Mion. Nebula um, XX. Oh yeah, I want to go to Redwoods National Park, and then besides that, 
I don't know, man. I just kind of come up with goals as I go. I guess I'm do, trying to do this MMA thing. I kind of want to stick to it. I guess that's a goal, which mm -hmm. I'm trying to knock out, like just get started. Get started on that. Mm -hmm. um, and then just the usual, just keep on working and school. But those aren't really goals, it's just like sticking to it. Yeah. Those are kind of things for you that are like givens, huh? Like no matter what, like that's not going to change. School? Yeah. Like school and that, like, and anything else is extra credit kind of. <sighs> school is a given because like I'm paying into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like, uh, like I wanna, it. yeah, I need to do it. Like, that, I'm, like, I'm losing money. You know what? That might be a good thing in life. Like um, just pay for something yourself. And like maybe you'll actually do it because you're using your money. I thought about that. I, yeah. Like apparently it doesn't work for some people who pay for like gym memberships. So. For gym, me, it's yeah. For me, if I paid for a gym membership, like I'd I'd be going to the gym. Going? <laughs> yeah. Like hell no, I ain't letting my money go to waste. What did, he, what did he say? I don't have my glasses. Oh yeah, I asked him. He said, "Uh, my goal, my God, oh my goal, <laughs> my God, my God, yeah, my goal probably to actually get a decent running car, dude." I. Uh. I yeah. definitely feel you on that. My car, I need a new car. Car problems suck. Car, dude. yeah. Uh, I got a yeah. 2004 Dodge Neon that's just falling apart. <laughs> it, it just sucks. I want a new car. Uh, hey, maybe that's one of my goals. I think I might be getting a new car probably by the end of this year. A new uh, car? Yeah, I'm going to try to get the Nismo or the 350. Can you get it from the, the dealer? Yeah, I'm going to try. Oh, you do like payments and stuff? Yeah. I'm gonna try it, but if not, I'll just get a little crappy like egg car, like a twelve thousand dollar car. Just get a used one, but like obviously like, like good a, shape. Uh, what is it called? Um, crap, the certified like pre-owned or something. Like where you know it's a like good car. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's been used. I'm probably I just go from everyone <clears throat> that I've talked to like. Getting a new car is like totally like not legit. Worth it. Yeah, I'm not gonna uh, buy a brand new of the year car, but maybe like a year pat back. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah like when I got mine, way cheaper. Mine was like a year or two old. Mm -hmm. I think. Comes it's like way better. But, yeah, and it was. I mean, but it was used. <clears throat> but then like, you chewed on the belt buckle already. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> Someone had a freaking dog in there or something. <laughs> that was they human, a, dude. A she, human chewed a on human, it. They had like some kid who was just like chewing. No, it was a full grown man. <laughs> uh, it was the kid from, it was the dad from uh, the glow that steak video. video. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's kind of cool. We're actually getting uh, actually getting followers from just doing a podcast. Yeah, I know. You got, what, three? Three just like from this I think two. Podcast, uh, right there. Uh, yeah, two. Nah, I Three in my heart. Three, <laughs> yeah, chaotic snails. Um, that's cool. That's all. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a podcast mm -hmm. and kind of not actually not even pay attention to chat. Uh, and just have people follow if they like it, and then we upload it to YouTube. Uh, I, I like interacting. Interacting, yeah. Yeah, me too. You can't help um, it. They're like little lost. I don't souls. like ignoring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, <lost souls. laughs> I don't like. Uh, uh, yeah, I like just ignoring. I guess the chat. I fucking hate streams like that. Where they that, ignore the chat? Mm -hmm. They don't even interact at all. Oh. And it's like, what's the point of this then? Like, yeah. What's the point of Twitch? But That's awesome. That's cool, yeah. Whenever I get uh, a streamer that's interacting back with me, mm -hmm. I usually follow. I do too, yeah. just because they're usually, so cool. Yeah, I usually pull people. So. Um. Anyways, that's a good goal. <laughs> Get um, a decent running car. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I would. It is, and that can coincide with like, well, you got to get a new, better job now so you can afford the new car. Yeah, that's or like just a like goal. saving or saving. You have, you have to yeah, budgeting. Either. There's like a lot of layers to it. Like having a goal, just having a goal is good. Like, in general, yeah, just setting a goal for yourself. Yeah. Like there's just a lot of personal growth that comes with it. Um, that's why I, I like like working out because uh, I think I told you this before. I like I like to think of it like a video game where you like you raise your you stats. Raise your stats yeah. yeah, so I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. That's like, how I think about it too. Yeah. Like level up. 
level up, level. Oh, you know what I want to do too? Um, I want to start drawing more Sean. and streaming more. Like yeah. both of those go together. Um, my biggest issue, which not, not really anymore. I guess I'm more realistic about things now. I guess. Uh huh. But man, I've oh, there's so many things I want to do in my life. I mean, I can still do them. Yeah. But I wanted to be like super good at like so many things. And it's kind of that's kind of hard to do in life to be like superb mm -hmm. at multiple things. It's like, I mean, maybe it's possible, but like you're get, you're probably gonna sacrifice a lot. That doesn't say if you want to be like, but superb doesn't mean what well, superb. I haven't heard that in so long. Superb. Uh, superb doesn't mean like the best in the world though, huh? Yeah, I don't want to be like number one. I just want to be like really good, good really at like good. different things yeah okay yeah but i learned like if i'm not trying to make money off of it like i can still do it just enjoy it yeah so like photography like i like mm. taking pictures but i'm not like oh I'm trying to be all crazy excellent about it i just when i have the time or i go out i try to take pictures does that also yeah, mean that. like learning photoshop no or i no, try to just take natural just raw uh, raw Pictures. what you see is Not, what you get yeah that's the name of your instagram page no my instagram <laughs> I, no my instagram i try to use no filters no e mm -hmm. editing like most of my pictures that you see on my instagram that i upload yeah it's like the raw photo that's cool i mostly put filters but like my last one i put that picture that yeah. i posted of myself that's like just nothing it's just like the normal uh, picture thing which i mean i'm not because I feel like people will start jumping to conclusions and be like, oh, like, what? You have pe something against people who use Photoshop or filter? I do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't. Like, pictures, like, man, I see some really nice ass pictures when people, especially someone, like, who really knows Photoshop and they really know photography and they're making, like, a super badass photo. Yeah. It looks cool. The reason why I do it, there's, like, I feel like there's an appreciation when you can just take a raw, like, nice photo. photo. Mm -hmm. But. I like I can even say an enhanced photo with Photoshop and stuff it obviously it's not gonna look as I mean it's gonna look way better than just the natural photo because you're gonna you did all kinds make of stuff. the color like you can make the greens more green you can yeah. make the blues more blue yeah but so I'm not trying to take away from that like that that's super cool, that's cool. I'm just like what I want to do is just take a yeah raw natural photo and you know what you should do though if you want it to be raw, um, because everyone's eyes are different, you should Photoshop it to look how you see it through your eyes, through your lenses. Oh, uh, how I would want to see. It. Yeah, that's probably why photo why Photoshop, Photoshop exists, stuff huh? looks cool. Yeah, yeah, because huh? like they're like away from it. because when you take a picture, obviously it doesn't do it justice, huh? When you take a picture, like when we took a picture, we went hiking. That picture, these pills pictures uh, suck. Yeah, it's, no, that's true because like uh, the best example I can give of that is when I was in Canada and I seen the aurora. Oh, yeah. like man, dude, when I seen it, it was like at like one percent of its glory or something like. That's cool. To <laughs> put it on your side. Yeah, so it lights you up better. Um, I seen it like at one percent of its glory, right? Mm -hmm. But it was still like, man, even seeing, just kind of seeing it happen, um, I was like, oh, it was just like a cool experience. Anyways, I snapped a photo of it, and you, man, you, you can barely even see it. You know, like the photo's so dark. Yeah. Barely, barely. I mean, I was barely able to see it in person. Um. But I enhanced the photo, like, uh, and you were able to see it better. But the experience, like, the way your eyes see it, see it like, in person, it's yeah. just different. There's no substitute for it. You yeah. need to see it with your own eyes in order yeah. to truly appreciate it. That's why experiences are, like, so important. You need to see it to believe it, like that's mm -hmm. what people say. Like, yeah. like, places like the pyramids and all that stuff. Like, you know, the Aurora Borealis or whatever? Yeah. Um, how can I even be sure it even exists? I've never been there. I've never seen it. Yeah, I've just seen it in videos and stuff. That's like what that. I say about a lot of things. It's like you, like everyone, everyone doesn't really know anything really exists. Mm -hmm. 
because you you never seen it. You never seen China. Mm-mm. Like that's the crazy thing. Like we we learn all this stuff, but without you ever really being there, like it, I'm not saying that's what's really happening, but mm. everything can literally be orchestrated, or you can start getting into stuff like simulation theory. Yeah, like you don't know, like without you experiencing it, like it could all just be a sham. I feel like um, this is a different thing. But yeah, like I feel like textbooks and what they teach us in school, like pictures, you know, they show the pictures of it. Like I feel like it waters, it waters it down for us, and like YouTube videos and stuff, like, um, like the internet. It waters what down? It waters the experience. So like I feel like it makes us feel like we've been there, we've seen it, and we feel like we've been there, so we don't have to go yeah. anymore. You remember in Vikings? Whenever like someone went to a new place and then they would describe it to somebody else, uh, they'd be like, "Whoa, yeah. what? Like I have to or go?" Really, or they think it was a lie or something. Yeah, and they're like, "Go, go see for yourself." Ragnar was like, "Oh, he was almost like, tell me again, what's that Jewish guy? I don't know his name. Oh, that, that Christian dude. He was almost kind of like, tell me again, Papa, tell me the story again about <laughs> the beautiful fields, and like it made him want to go. But like, I feel like." For us, it's like, oh, here's a picture of Japan and the suicide forest yeah. or whatever. And we're like, ah, okay. Well, That's yeah, fine. I don't so, have to go see it. We're so connected with everything now. Mm-hmm. It's just like... But I'm also the type of person where I'll tell people, because some people will spend hell of money. Like, if that's something you really want to do, like, if you want to go, like, say, to Rome... If that's something you really want to do, I mean, by all means, like, go for it. But don't feel... if. If it's not something you really, I guess, really, really want to do, mm-hmm. don't feel like you have to, like, oh, man, like, if, don't go feel pressured it. by people, like, oh, you have to go travel. Because mm-hmm. one thing that I think about, too, is, like, if, if you really think about it, like, people, don't get me wrong, it's probably, like, a cool experience and something really cool to see in your life. Mm-hmm. But the crazy thing is, like, people in Rome, people who live in Rome or Italy or... Any, just pick any part of the world like whatever stuff they have there it's normal to them oh, they yeah. live normal day life yeah. they go to work they go so it's nothing like crazy like there's people in other part of, parts of the world where they're probably like oh man like Yosemite like oh look at those waterfalls and this forest and big old trees and to us it's in our backyard and there's a lot of people that don't ever end up going they never live come. here yeah and it's like what the heck like if anything like at least, yeah, if you're, if you're just trying to have experience, at least try to find where to have experiences near you. Like, yeah. So you can first, start off with that. Yeah, like kind of first do that. Um, It's funny that uh, you say that because like I was talking, I was in on Twitch talking to a girl. Mm-hmm. I think I told you this before, but I'll just say it for the sake of like the podcast or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's a girl from um, not Czech Republic, fucking um, Yugoslavia or whatever. Yugoslavia. Yeah, she's from Yugoslavia. I actually followed I her. Where the hell that's at. And she followed me too. Hopefully she's watching. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. no, there's no nobody's <laughs> watching. But uh she's from Yugos Oh man, excuse me. Yes, Yugoslavia. By the way, have you seen the houses there? They look Are they those like small depressed like, all attached type you, of houses? Kinda yeah, they're like weird as fuck looking. A but, lot of um, places in the world their houses are like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, where is she from? Um, uh, nope. Can you go to that? Um, let me see. No, I want to see my list. People. Yeah. I kind of do want to move somewhere else. I think once I uh, kind of build some experience at this job. Mm-hmm. Like get some years under my belt. Uh, I still want to stick to that plan of just moving, she is. moving somewhere. So I was talking to her. Uh, where she? Oh, it didn't say. Hmm. It didn't say. I right, never mind. Well, anyway, I think that's where she's from. And uh. Oh, and uh. She just like 
She was just like, um, but I forget what I was going to say. Oops, I took away our light. <laughs> she was saying something. Oh, fuck. What was she saying that, um, damn, I totally forgot. <laughs> um, you go slob, you girl. Yeah. Oh yeah, she was saying that she'll never come over here. Like it's impo kind of like it's impossible. Oh, like she can't afford it. Or yeah. Something? And I was like, well, I just buy get a plane ticket, you know. But um, and like, I was showing her like the beaches that are here. Oh really? Dude, and her face just like lit up, like insane. Oh, were you like uh FaceTiming or? Uh, I was just in her chat. Oh. And then um, I was sending her like links, and then she's just like. Damn, she's like, damn, bro, I'm never gonna go there. Like, I where, wish it's where, a dream. Or she's at Yugoslavia or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, it's all inland, huh? I can't really I picture it. Let's look it up. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it's Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Here, type it in. Oh, Yugoslavia. <laughs> Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> Yu Gi Oh. Uh, oh no, she got some water by her. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Is it Yugoslavia? It's probably not like California beaches, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she does have beaches. They're just not like ours. Yeah. I showed her Venice Beach. Uh -huh. And she was, you know what she said? She was like, oh, yeah, that's just like GTA. <laughs> I, I go, like, I'm, I'm there all the time, like in GTA. And then uh, she said she wanted to come over here. Uh, uh, right here. Yugoslavia. Hotel Yugoslavia. Under Hungary. Dang. Man, if I if I was uh if I had hell of money <laughs> I think that'd be something I I would be cool to do. Like just be like, oh like I'll I'll whatever, like get you a ticket. Yeah. And just like come hang come, out. Yeah, bring a uh, to bring like a family member or something. And yeah, and yeah, and like she was saying that uh, she wants to come over here and she really wants to go to Seven <laughs> Eleven. And I said, "Why do you want to go to Seven Eleven?" She said, "Because that's what I see like in popular media." And I was like, "Trust me, you don't want to go to Seven <laughs> Eleven because that's what like what we are uh, like because you don't they don't have that over there. They don't have Seven Eleven over there." That's and like crazy, she was, like, I was like. Dude, they're just like, there's just like a bunch of homeless people outside of it asking you for money. And then there's an angry Indian guy inside that like, he's just pissed at you for some reason. <laughs> and he's probably overcharging you for shit. And he's just like, really? I'm like, yeah, it stinks. I wonder how. It smells like piss. Out it smells like <laughs> piss in front of the door. I wonder how life is over there. I wonder how her day to day life kind of is. Because she showed me like, like. How does it compare? She showed me the outside of her window. Uh -huh. And it was like gray skies. Uh, what time of year was it though? We had gray skies here. <laughs> mm. That was like December. So December. So that would have been like, oh shit. That would have been her summer. <laughs> right? I guess. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But yeah, it was like gray and like, come on. We don't really have gray skies or... that much. Because if it was December here, that's when it's cold, but she's on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, I here's wanna December. Say... I'm trying to pick a picture. World be going. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it should have been cold over there, too. That makes sense. Well, yeah. and then, um. Would she's been, saying, it would have been winter over there as well. You're saying she wants to see San Francisco and LA and stuff like that. And then I was like, oh, screw LA, dude. Screw San Francisco. Uh, yeah, San Francisco. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I hate those fuck city, these places. Man. And she's just like, there's nothing really to do over here. And I'm like, man, I would love to go over there. Like, it would be a dream of mine. Not, it would be a dream of mine, but like, I would yeah. love to go the there. The thing is, though, it'd probably be a dream of yours to visit. To visit. But for them, it's probably like a dream to live here and not here. just like visit. Yeah. Um, but I think if they lived here, they would hate it because the way live the way you live think, is different. Yeah, but then again, party in California. California's hella going to shit. Mm -hmm. 
you know, like no matter what city you're in now, there's like a fuck ton of homeless. You're getting like taxed up the ass. We got diseases. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just horrible. It's weird, man. I remember like the streets we grew up on, mm-hmm. which it was the hood. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But man, it's like a whole different thing now. It's a different type of like ghetto now. Mm-hmm. I, I think gangs were more prevalent when we were young. Mm-hmm. I don't think gangs are as as prevalent but now you got like homeless and like crazy people and just like crazy yeah people and yeah it's like uh, it's weird like certain streets that used to not be like bad or like super bad <laughs> yeah like, what the hell yeah i told her about uh like Fres- wherever we live uh-huh. <laughs> and how it sucks like it's just like ah, this place sucks Everyone thinks we're like surfing all day and like oh, I know. smoking oh, weed, dude, doing shit like that. When when I was like doing my thing, traveling around, mm-hmm. like Missouri or whatever, when I was meeting people from other states, but dude, everyone has the same perception of California. It's crazy. I think They'd it's be awesome. Like, oh, like they either thought I was by the beach, or yeah, they thought like I surfed or yeah, like, like all the like stereotypical stuff. And I Which was, like, we can though. We could. But uh, like, I, I was like, dude, by. I was like, I live like in the middle of California. I was like, you know, it's literally like a bunch of farmland. Yeah. I'm like, no one's doing that stuff. Like, <laughs> it's not a bunch of like tanned white people. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Like that. We know what's crazy is like, I could buy a surfboard tomorrow and so can you. And then we could just drive up and learn how to surf. You know for what I mean? Day, yeah. Yeah, for the day. We can't stay. But like, like we could actually do that. And would cost a good back. amount. Yeah. <laughs> would cost a good amount of money, but like we could say that we surfed or like we're trying. You know what I mean? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's kind of like you're saying, like, explore the shit that you have, and then and then come talk to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I feel like I haven't really done much here in the states, but yet I want to go to Japan and stuff it, like that. One thing that blows my mind because I've met a couple people that live here. Mm-hmm. And they've never been to Yosemite. Oh yeah, it's crazy. That oh, always damn. blows my mind, mm-hmm. especially by the time they're like our age or older. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, you're like you're a grown ass adult, and you're telling me like you've never been to Yosemite. And yeah. It's literally like it's literally your backyard. It's like what the hell? It's just... you got people from all over the world coming just to see it. That's weird to me still. Cause it's just a mount, but then there's no mountains where they, or like why though? It's just because it's beautiful. Cause they got it's mountains and yeah. stuff. You mountains know what? Mountains where? <laughs> Utah. Oh, well. I don't know. You mean like from Japan or something? I'm pretty sure mountains. Japan doesn't have something. I'm pretty sure they have their waterfalls and their mountains, but yeah, nothing like Yosemite. Really? Yosemite is that great looking? Don't get me wrong, really it's beautiful, speak. but... Well, when I look at other national parks or other places in, from other countries, like places to visit, hmm. there's nothing that really, like, matches Yosemite. Hmm. There's a, obviously, I don't really, they have really their own know. beautiful stuff. Yeah. But nothing matches the, the Yosemite. The Canada. <laughs> not the, but the here, Canada? not in the... Not exactly. Uh, I don't think... There's probably certain parts of... Well, see, the area I was in Canada... There mm-hmm. wasn't, like, redwoods and stuff. I'm pretty sure there's parts of Canada that have, like, redwoods. Mm-hmm. Or whatever tall-ass... Redwood trees? Just, like, big trees? Yeah. Um, but Canada was, like, its own different type of, like, beauty. Yeah. And when I went to Alaska, that was a whole different type of beauty, too. But that's what I'm saying, like, you can literally, like... Uh, for sure, explore what's around you. Hmm. Yeah, this other person in chat too showed a picture of. <laughs> it's all chicks. A picture. She's in Canada. And, uh, showed a picture of her house. It's like a cabin-looking thing. Yeah. Like in the forest, though. Uh, Wolverines like, in the background. Yeah, <laughs> like literally, you would see him back there, like cutting, chopping wood or something. <laughs> with like fucking greenery just all over the place. It looked tight, and I was like. Fuck, like, 
you live there? That place looks awesome. And they're like, really? It sucks. Like, it's just a forest. And I was like, over cool. here, you can't do that. Like, you can't have a house with that much greenery. You have to put it in artificially. You know what I mean? If you yeah. wanted a house that looked like that in the hills or something. I think I no, Canada, dude. Yeah, Canada is a different type of green. Yeah. Um, like, Yosemite is green, but yeah, when I was in Canada, it was it kind of reminded me of Alaska. But it's just like, it's a lot of like, I guess, grasses and like bushes or I don't know. It's like smaller plants. Not really like trees, mm -hmm. and but like lush green, and it's like all over the place. Man, looks crazy. How the mosquitoes are? Ah, well, that's it. I it's over. Getting, I was getting eaten alive. Destroy that place. You don't remember me telling you like uh, you can literally see the plumes of them like chasing you as you walk. Fuck, that's crazy. I remember you saying that there was a guy who was like allergic. He had an allergic oh, reaction dude, to it. Yeah. And like he, he fucking stay, his like, head blew up. <laughs> he constantly had to stay like all covered up because he would get his <laughs> his like bites mm -hmm. would like become big old like welts. It's <laughs> crazy. Like, Man, I felt bad for the dude. Yeah, it's crazy. And yeah, we've been going for an hour. An hour, I know. No one's watching us. We got one. <laughs> yeah, that's us. Oh, is it? it? Open on the page. Yeah. Uh, close it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think so. Let's see. I think this is a good podcast. I'm a, I'm a, is, yeah, I just wish I had people. I'm going to count this as a, a no watching. pulse one, like an actual one. Do it, edit it. Yeah. Throw it together. You know what, man? Let's talk about video games. Old video games. Go to that topic? Yeah. <laughs> what about them? Um, yeah. For me, I like old dusty PS1s that don't work. Was there ever... Is there an old video game... That you, like, at least back then, you really wanted to play, but you never got a chance to play? Hmm. I'm trying to think right now, like, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a couple. Think. Oh, Shadow, of, for me, Shadow of Colossus. Uh. I didn't play that till like, uh, just like two years ago or something. Yeah. Did you beat it? <laughs> I, got, I got like halfway, yeah, and then I just thought I I did that to a lot of my games though. Mm -hmm. Get like halfway. Um, yeah. it was cool though. Just... It was a cool game. Yeah, yeah. You like the all the giants? Like how it made you feel? It actually made you feel it, small. Yeah. Like, yeah, and, epic, and like climbing on them was thing, fucking yeah. awesome. I like you it. Need to make more games like that, dude. It's kind of believable. What? <laughs> That you could scale those big mount, those big. They're so hairy. Yeah, they're so hairy and they're big and they're so massive that maybe you can hold on to them. I don't know. Just like just grabbing, and tearing. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're just like stabbing in a freaking forehead. Crazy person. A good crazy person. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I mean, that's that's one of mine, but I guess I ended up playing it so. Let's see. Pull up Wait, the... but you did play it, so it doesn't count. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like as an adult, I played it. So yeah, I, I don't know if I can really count that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Left for Dead. That never... was a game that like I thought you played it. Recently. I did. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh oh. But like that was a game that like people definitely were all into like it was like a cult like a cult yeah, game right fun. like a cult classic i didn't i didn't think it was that fun it was fun for its time yeah i haven't played it recently but i remember playing it with uh josh and i think daniel uh -huh. and yeah for its time like it, it was fun so i didn't know it was an online game i didn't know it was like matchmaking in it i thought it was a campaign that's why i got it so that i could it play with my buddy and you but you match with other people. Oh, on PC. Oh, but uh, like when I was there's playing a story it for 360. Yeah. Uh, oh, you got you're playing the first one, huh? Yeah. I think the first one kind of throws you. Just throws you in. You just, yeah. It throws and you, you just in. play, and Left then you. Left 4 Dead 2, I go. think. 
From what I remember, it kind of throws you in too, but I think it kind of gives you an idea of like what's going on. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, Dude. it was a cool game. We should put a uh, in the chat or put it on the title uh, for five followers. We'll play beer pong. <laughs> no, five followers will play beer pong. Oh, yeah, if we get five followers, extra followers. Do you, you don't even have a beer pong table. I know. How would we set that up? Right here. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, you don't know how to do those little, you know, when they put the little meter on screen. Oh, get, like, yeah, like a sub goal. Or money a or goal something. thing? Yeah. No, I don't think this has it. Um, no. I'd have to figure it out myself. But that'd be cool. Ten, ten followers and we take shots. <laughs> um, Some guy That's was funny. doing that and was working. Yeah. Would, you, would you do that? Ten followers? I, the guy that I we saw? Do five. Every five we take a shot. We take a shot? Yeah. I'm down to do it. Um, <laughs> this cool. guy I was watching was doing it for every follower. He takes a shot. I followed him and three other people followed him. He took four shots back to back. All four. It was oh, hella funny. God. Yeah. But hey, he, he did it. You better not be like fucking stale coke or something stale coke. he's trying to pass off as whiskey nah cause you can see him getting fucked up <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure that was me like you start noticing it real fast <laughs> let's put uh, put in the title we can change the title yeah, well every five followers we take a shot yeah um, yeah I, I ain't trying to get all fucked up <laughs> yeah. Cool. We got to do it. Should I do it? Do anything? Yeah. I'm gonna use that. That's cool. Oh. Should, uh, that should be my my I podcast. <laughs> when I make it. Man, you should definitely the like most epic it. mediocre podcast. <laughs> that is cool. Every five followers will take a shot. Um, every five followers equals a shot. What do you think? Mm, every five followers equals a sh- yeah, shot. Mm. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's good. That's that cute art. Uh, playing uh, Smash? Oh, yeah, yeah. I played Smash with him. With him over Smash. Smash. Um. Oh, yeah, I have the light. <laughs> I actually feel pretty drunk. Really? <laughs> kind of. I don't know what happened. You had maybe. one or two? I had or one. Two? Oh. What the hell was that noise? This oh, sure. I thought I was like, did we get a follower? Right here? <laughs> like, no. He's, I know he started you know, like all of a sudden just had all the followers. <laughs> Man, I really want to play but yeah, we, you're right. We don't have a spot. Um, oh, did I tell you I might? Oh yeah, I did. I might move in with my friend. You didn't? What did you tell me? Yeah, I told you yesterday. When? I told you I might move down the street. No, I don't think so. Yeah, in the fig garden. <laughs> You actually like believe me? Yeah, I'm good, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know about you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm not like. Man, I don't know. I feel weird. I feel weird sometimes. Uh, Since... Yeah, I'm gonna move nearby. I hope it's not a bad experience. Mm. <laughs> no, I mean, either way, it's only for a couple of months, right? Yes, a couple months. So, and then either get Josh or just like, get out of there. <laughs> Have you even talked to them about it? No, I don't want to bring it up until I, I'm They're actually like, at that point. Because mm, um, I, I might just get a house once shit. that's over. Still can't believe you didn't fucking pull the trigger. Nah, oh, that. I had a house? <laughs> I know. 
Man, that would have been That's insane. Cool. Man, I wish I could show like uh, what the house I wanted on there, the one I could have had. You know um, how where? we can't show the the window. We yeah. couldn't get it working. No. I, oh, you so wanted chat, to show it like yeah, on so chat? chat can, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could probably do it. I could probably figure it out, but I have to mess with it more. Yeah. That was a cool ass house, dude. Man, that house was insane. <laughs> Yeah. Insane. It's probably man. worth hell of money now. Yeah, you fucked up, bro. You had a gold mine and you fucked it up. <laughs> no, it was an investment. Yeah. No, but, but it, I get where you're coming from, though, too. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of only saying that because I now know what you have now. Like the money situation uh, type of thing. New job and stuff. Oh, yeah. I have a coworker who's like, he might get a house. A big ass house, actually. Really, three story? No, it's like really. It's more. It's one story, but it's like just really wide. I guess. I think it has like four or five rooms and like three restrooms. Mm. Um, it's like a big ass lot. It looks cool, but he would have to like do all kinds of work to it. Should we turn on the light? Oh, wait, people at least should see us see now. Beautiful face. Yeah. Yeah. Her <laughs> beautiful. Face. Yeah, I wonder if people are like coming in and just being like, "What the." Yeah. Um, all right. I'm gonna try to yeah, fuck you. Weird. Oh, we'll get Mary Payne, won't we? Weird dark. Sh- yeah. Is there any more Hawaiian taste? I'll see. If not, there you go. There's Michelob. There's like a light beer. It's pretty tasty. Or not tasty. It's just smooth. Low calorie. Is it? Yeah. That's what they're known for. Yes. Yeah. But there's no mind. Mind haze. There's no mind. <laughs> no mind haze. Huh? No, there's no viewers, dude. No viewers. We actually got a decent amount of viewers, though. Um, throughout the night, or throughout the stream. Um, mm-hmm. we had a de- we had a decent amount. end the podcast and just stream or just keep going keep recording huh yeah 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 Dude, I'm sure. Hey, let's try to download uh, AI Dungeon now. Oh hell yeah! And then we can make it just do a video on that if we want. We can just chill and drinking. You're the mouse, and I'm the keyboard. Yo yo yo. 
Ten spear is good. It's good. Ultra. Superior like. Oh, there was done more in my days? No. There's done more. Oh my gosh. Crap. Yeah, you just turn on the light and you got a view. It's <laughs> <laughs> hollow dark. You want to see? Um. Oh, man, what the hell are we talking about? I don't know. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm. Oh, uh. oh, the house. Oh yeah, yeah. House that I lost out on. Yeah. Dude, did I ever yeah. tell you about the other house I wanted to buy? Mm -hmm. no, and you're so. gonna be like, man, you you're fucking stupid. <laughs> you lost two badass houses. Yeah. It was a house that it like it, it was coming with because in the backyard. Mm -hmm. They had set up a a jacuzzi. And an outdoor bar and an outdoor like picnic area and it's all like that um like tiki Hawaiian based thing. I had like the I don't know how to describe oh, it. Oh okay, I get what you're saying, yeah. Like all the um the coverings were like that palm tree leaf stuff or whatever. Yeah. And then like all the stuff was made out of uh whatever those hard stick binded wood I don't know, bamboo shit it. yeah kind of something like that uh -huh. like everything was made out of that it was cool dude that was a part of the home it was coming all together question have you guys ever stepped on a bug on purpose before if yes would you ever do it again stepped on a bug on purpose curious I mean, yeah. <laughs> curious response depends on the bug Question, have you ever got, have <laughs> you, I know, <laughs> but I want to read it for myself, all right? I Not go, just all about you, all right? So Curious Responses said, Curious, Curious Responses says, question, have you guys ever stepped on a bug on purpose before? If yes, would you ever do it again? Nice voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's my reading questions voice. Uh... I mean, yeah, I stepped on little, little bugs. I mean, you stepped on roaches, right? You killed a roach before. No? I don't know. I don't think so. Because yeah. um, they're too big. That's too big of a bug for me to squish. Oh, like the to big, where it feels, big old roaches? It feels gross. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't... I... We said stepped. I've never stepped on but I've smashed one. Not with my... Like, uh -huh. with like a, a book or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I would step on a cockroach. <laughs> um, here's the thing: at you remember Roosevelt? Uh, I was there at night skating. And you remember how the oh, roaches are yeah, like this big. big? Okay, so get dude, <laughs> guess what happened? I was it walking through the midway and hit you. No, I stepped on one, uh -huh. and it it was so big and juicy that I slipped like a banana. <laughs> and when I looked down, it was a roach, uh, and I was so disgusted. <laughs> So no, I don't. I don't really step on bugs that are like big because I can feel it with my foot, even though my yeah. shoes there. Not on purpose, by accident. Actually, but I've done a lot of other things on purpose that I shouldn't talk about. I know. Yeah, yeah that's really mention, questionable. I'm not gonna mention on this <laughs> <laughs> podcast. Um, that's a good question, though. What, what, what were you have to say? No, I, I was just saying like that's the only type of bug I would like smash. I, I don't try to mess with bugs. I don't even kill like spiders. If it's a if it's a crazy ass looking spider and it's inside the house, yeah, I'd, I'd probably kill it. But like, one type of spider that I don't ever kill are like the jumping spiders. Ooh, I yeah. just let them do their thing. <laughs> let them I jump do. all around. Yeah, or, uh, for some reason I find them in my car sometimes. Oh, what the hell? And I usually just get like try to get them out. Yeah, well, but he says yeah. curious responses says. <laughs> <laughs> robot face okay well since non-glasses guy is non-glasses non guy <laughs> okay well since non-glasses guy has done it would you say you just step on it once to kill it or would you also twist drag your foot too oh damn twist drag my foot you know what like you stomp it out like a cigarette but <laughs> I'm like giving like serious thoughts <laughs> to like this. to this question. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, 
Not that well, sweet. I wouldn't do that to a roach. A roach just because it's nasty. Yeah. But like certain things that like I'm probably like like a spider that I'm freaked out about because I've stepped on spiders before and they're not, like not dead. Yeah. So if I know I stepped like on a spider, like I'd probably like twist, yeah, twist and drag like that motherfucker's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I guess that's true. But, uh, yeah, that's that's where I draw my line. <laughs> that's where I draw my line. Yeah, right. You if I perceive it as a threat, even though it's tiny, if I perceive it as a threat, <laughs> I'm going to make sure that thing's dead. So it's a twist and drag then, yeah. I feel like he's giving me, like, a psych eval. I'm <laughs> like, hmm, this motherfucker's crazy. I feel like he's setting you up for, like, like he's gonna like uh what do you call it like defame you or like how do you call it not a fluff piece like a fluff. yeah like when you interview someone and you try to coax them into oh, you're giving like you a response and, yeah, yeah and then you take it out of context and show it to people and it makes you look <laughs> like a, it makes you look like a bad guy uh, go read it <laughs> curious hold on curious okay curious responses <laughs> I have a reason for asking, but it's not a psych evaluation. But fair enough. And lastly, would you feel bad if the bug was a mother carrying her babies? <laughs> well, after all the responses I, I gave it, like, has it, like, what type of bug, though? Yeah, what type of bug? It depends on the bug. Yeah. Um, for me, that's what I keep on mentioning. Like, it depends on the bug. Yeah. I feel bad like, if it was like a ladybug. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> like even if it didn't have babies, I just like smashed the ladybug. I'm going like, damn, that thing wasn't doing anything to me. <laughs> he says, oh, "I depends." Everyone says that too, which we shouldn't be Every like that. Everything in life depends. Yeah, depends on the circumstance. But we shouldn't be that way. Like it doesn't matter what bug it is, you should still yeah want care for it no. the same way. <laughs> Like you would squish a cockroach. You, care, you, you would care about every thing. Human, the same. Still yeah. Human. Yeah. So. so you squish a ladybug. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> nah, go ahead. <laughs> so you squish a ladybug. I mean, you wouldn't squish a ladybug because it looks. It's Not more a, aesthetically pleasing. Right. And a cockroach. It's a pest. It's a pest. Yeah, it's a pest. It's a pest, huh? Or if you can. I mean, I guess any bug can eventually be a pest. Should I read it? Read Dr. Seuss. Curious responses says, Okay then. So going on 180, the reason I asked you guys all that is because I was going to ask if you'd be able to participate in this challenge I was doing with Twitch users to do that. It's based on the movie Men in Black and you do it on YouTube or Instagram message. Would it be a challenge you could participate in? Do you have any examples of what you've done already? Like, can you show us or something? Like what? Yeah, like what the challenge. So he wants is us to get a see. He wants us to get like, a video of us squishing bugs. I told you, he's <laughs> a, like, yeah, it's a smear weird, campaign. <laughs> some weird thing. Or some weird thing that gets him going. It's yeah, <laughs> like he's got he's a fetish of this guy's. Like, oh, yes, smash! You smash that bug. <laughs> <laughs> smash that bug. Yeah. LOL. Well, pretty much, yeah. So far, twenty six have participated. What um, is I. It? It's um, you'd be able to participate in this challenge I was doing with the users. To that it's based on the movie Men in Black, and you do it on YouTube or Instagram message. I'm not gonna be smashing bugs. I'm not gonna be smashing bugs. Yeah. I'm not a bug smasher. That's just not I'm my not thing. I'm not a bug smasher. Yeah, I'm, I'm on a go out of my way to smash a bug. <laughs> <laughs> He's go gonna, out of my way. Yeah. yeah. He's just going to like somehow show up with bugs. And like, well, I brought the bugs here. <laughs> yeah, smash him. He's going to give you a big cartoon mallet for you to smash him. Most it on Astrium. Most did it on Instagram, but some did it on YouTube. I can show you one of the ones on YouTube. That's why I asked the other guy. I know Glasses Guy doesn't do it, but that's why I asked yeah, the other I just guy. I said like, I wouldn't smash it just to smash Just to smash bug. it? You wouldn't Hulk smash it? Yeah. 
I think that you're trying to get. I think the the way you said it, though, you're like, I'm not a bug smasher. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not a bug smasher. This thing. <sighs> why Why are you doing that? Because of uh, what's the reference to Men in Black? I don't understand. I think that you just want to have like some sort of weird fetish porn. <laughs> you want us to do it for you. <laughs> How the hell did we get into Bug Smash? I know, well, this guy. <laughs> this is what Twitch chat is. I know. Well, I saw other people give challenges, so this is one I came up with. And it is based on the Men in Black scene with Will Smith in the first movie. Um. Oh, yeah, he does, like, smash bugs and stuff. Well, so do you, you, you seen, have you seen that movie? Oh, that was a long time ago. Men in Black. I just remember. I don't remember anything. I just remember uh, Johnny Knoxville was in it. Really? Mm hmm. You don't remember that? He was uh, one of the bugs. He, like, can mutate. Those, I just remember uh, those. What is it? Three of them? Those weird, skinny, long looking bugs? I think they're always joking around. Mm hmm. They look like roaches, don't they? Uh, I don't know. They're just like. These. Uh, yeah, I wasn't too big a fan of Men in Black. But if you guys can't participate, that's okay. I was just looking for more diversity <laughs> people. But if more you guys can't... Uh, for his videos, I guess? I guess. Want more different types of people doing it. Yeah. Sorry, man. In this, in this situation, I'm not a bug smasher. <laughs> it's not a bug. I don't See, smash it, it bugs. Depends. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, curious responses. I'm sorry I failed you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's the scary thing going back into houses. <laughs> oh, yeah. From bug smashing. Like, yeah, I know, from bug smashing. Uh, uh, like, the risk that comes into like not knowing. Like, what if there's a bunch of pests? I know that that's why they say like you have to like, before you even purchase like the house, you get an inspector to figure out like what oh, wrong with the house. And stuff. Curious response is no problem. Well, I'm gonna ask someone else. Thanks anyway. <laughs> hey, since you put me through that traumatic traumatic <laughs> experience of bug smashing, you wanna hit that follow button, man? It's free. <laughs> Doesn't cost you a dime. And hey, you never know. I might smash a bug for you later in the future. All right. Yeah. See you, man. If you're, if you're really hurting for money. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. You, you know just what? like smashing bugs on screen. Please. <laughs> Please. All right. Anyway. What were you saying about the house? There's a lot uh, of things. Just uh, the risk of, uh, yeah, like if it has pests or electrical or plumbing issues, mm. you end up paying even more money. Yeah. At this teacher was, uh... You guys didn't have any crazy issues with this house, huh? Well, I saw a bug. <laughs> um, no, not, um, not really. No. No. Other than, I would say, like, some of the electrical was kind of, like, didn't work. Not, like, not major. It was, from what I remember, it was just, like, that outlet, right? Yeah. And that circuit. <laughs> it would... You never had to reset, any, like, the breaker or anything, right? Your devices would just turn off. Like, it, it just didn't support it. Yeah, yeah. That's basically it. Um, but this one teacher was just telling me that she worked summer school because uh, one of the trees, like, she had a big-ass fucking tree, and the roots grew under her. The roots went all the way under her house. And it threw off the foundation, and it fucked up, like, her plumbing pipes. And she has to pay, like, ten grand. And the city won't, like, cover it. Like her insurance oh, yeah. doesn't cover it, so. Oh, is it one of the trees that's not on the property? Like it's on the sidewalk. Yeah, it's like on the sidewalk or something. Oh, that's stupid. bullshit. Yeah, yeah. and I I'd like, be like, "Well, I'm fine. gonna cut down your fucking tree." Right. <laughs> well, I guess if it's, it's kinda, mine, it's kind of pointless. If it's but mine, out of spite, I would have, <laughs> I would have mm. fucking done it. I'm like, fuck it, I'm cutting down the tree. Then. Oh shit! Let's get AI dungeon. Oh. Let's do this real quick. 
Oh, but they're not even going to be able to see. I guess we could read it, huh? Um, read read I, what's happening. I could try to get it on the screen. I'm, I'm sure I could do it. AI dungeon. Shit. If this is cool, if this is like super, super cool, because I think he's asking for donations, huh? Who? Uh, oh, AI, AI dungeon guy? Yeah. Uh, can you. Can oh, you get off shit, your huh? can you get off your fucking ass, bro? And like use the mouse, use the mouse that God gave right, you. Where am I going? Play for free. Play for free. Use the mouse. Like, play play here. Just put, you know, no. Play <laughs> I think I'm gonna support you on Patreon. Enter your email address. You're about to enter a world of endless possibilities where you can do absolutely anything you can imagine. Will you proceed? Email, bro. What's your email? Your email. <laughs> you should. I know you have like email, like can you, click you on can it? just throw away. I can just throw away. I should have like just like an email I just use for stupid shit. Go that's for your, it, bro. Oh. Yeah, Can you make it big? Oh, you gotta make an account. Make it big? Yeah. Uh, enter a username. Oh, I just wanted to see the. Oh, that's cool. Chat. <laughs> they took someone took off. Bug guy took off. He just wanted to jerk off to our feet. Squishing Hell, bugs. Yeah, that's the most random ass. <laughs> enter a username. Should have clicked. Username. No problem. Chaos Crimson. <laughs> <laughs> Crimson Chaos. That's it. It's uh, better. Uh, actually, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's uh, pronounced Chaos. It's your uh, and then you got a tab key, dude. <laughs> oh, what? You can t push tab? Yeah, they go to type in the next oh, that's, field. I didn't know that. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm not a computer guy like you. <laughs> uh, password. Uh, tab, tab. Try it. Oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't even know that. That's a hot little tip you got there. Yep. New tab? Oh. Enter. The username you're probably just taking. What? Uh, I, need, I, need, I need the restroom break. Oh, oh. oh yeah, sticky, sticky wiki. Oh, cool, I did it. Oh, <laughs> You can leave it open if you want. My grow the stickiest. 